Uh, so I'd start by saying really, really proud of our team right now. And um, we, we went through a pretty rough stretch here in February. I thought our team was what was getting better. I know our team was getting better. Um, we just weren't seeing the results on the court like we like we wanted to and talked about this is a new month and, and let's come in and play really well today and, and, and try to get, get our first one in March and, and then try to keep going from there. I uh, thought our guys had a really good focus level on both ends of the floor to start the game. Uh, did a nice job of keeping the ball in the paint, making them shoot over the top early on. Um, that offensively, we just had a mindset of just sharing the ball and, and, and moving it. And I had 20 assists today on, on 29 made baskets, which is a, a great number. And um, you know, I just felt like we just kept taking really good shots. Obviously, we shot the ball extremely well from three, which which always helps. But I think we were taking a lot of really good ones. Um, so really happy for our seniors. Uh, Sean Howe did, did a great job out there with five threes, played really well for us. and playing through a little bit of pain. And, um, and our manager, uh, Wilson Johnson, and, and obviously Jake Milkright, our other senior who's, who's out with an injury. Really happy for them to, to go out on senior day with a win. And um, the guy I'm sitting next to, um, Marcus Thornton, is one of the best players to ever play here. And uh, for Gabe to break his single season record is a heck of an accomplishment. And um, no one is more deserving of it than Gabe because he is a he is an obsessive worker, um, and when you when you work as hard as he does, and you're as diligent with it, and, and, and you have his talent, good things can happen. So I'm certainly happy for him. Um, but overall, I said just just proud of our team sticking together the way we have this season, and and um, happy to get a little bit of momentum here as we head into next week. Um, even through the ups and downs of this season, uh, you've always played pretty well at home. Uh, you finished seven and seven at home. Talk about uh, why you're so good here. Well, I think uh, one of the biggest reasons is our fan support. Um, I don't know what the attendance was today, but our fans were awesome again, and they have been all year. And um, the, the 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 building looks great. The 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 fan come our fans come to life when we need them to. Um, they respond to big plays. They they pick up the the energy when we need a defensive stop. And um, I know our guys feel that you know, and we can we can we can sense their presence at, at, at the game. So I think that's a big part of it. Uh, and then I think the other part is just the comfort that everybody has at playing at home. And you know, we've shot the ball really well in some home games this year. Um, so I think those are probably two of the big reasons. I keep talking about uh, setting the record uh, for three pointers at William and Mary, and doing it on a day when uh, you tied for, as a team for your season best uh, with 15 threes. Yeah, I mean, like Coach said, Marcus is—he's a legend around here. So <clears throat> I'm very appreciative of just you know the the work that I put in, kind of coming to fruition in that regard. Um, it's it feels great uh, to be able to do that on, on a day like this. You know, our last home game kind of flip, flip the script around uh, heading into the tournament and gain a little bit of momentum for our team. So it, it was it was great. Um, coach, you started each half with a nine point run. Um, how much easier does that make it to always uh, be playing significantly in front? Yeah, I, I think it's it's always uh, it's always a place you want to be playing from, obviously. <laughs> uh, and like I said, I thought we came out of the gates today and just got some really good stuff offensively early, um, and and just I said we had a few stretches where I didn't love how we were playing, but but for the most part, just kept playing really good basketball. I thought the second half was a real key because they hit a big three at the end of the half, and um, and I thought our guys really responded well coming out to start the second half and. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was it was uh, Caleb with two threes and, and Gabe with the other one to, to get us off to that start in the second half. So um, thought that was I uh, thought that was a big big part of the game for us get that get rolling a little bit in the second half like that. And Sean, uh, on his senior day, uh, got you off to the the good start with his threes in the first half. Talk about him. Yeah, I think that there's always there's, there's always a little bit of that on senior day where your your seniors always seem to 
to provide a spark and uh, whether it's hitting big shots or, or making a big momentum play or something. And Sean got us going today with that and, and had a really efficient day. And he said he's a little bit banged up out there, um, but he wouldn't he wouldn't show it. He just kept saying, I'm good, I'm good. And um, yeah, I played, played really well for us today. Um, and then Lowe had a, a nice uh, score line with 13 uh, points and 13 rebounds. And uh, Trey Moss continues to play well for you. I thought our backcourt was really efficient today. And I think it started with Chase coming in with the idea of trying to facilitate, get everybody else involved. Um, and, and one of the reasons that we were able to get off to a good start is, is, is we had that we had that quarterback out there just trying to move the ball and get everybody going and thought he was really good with that and um, and and then he scored when it was time to score and you know he's he's a really really efficient player when he's a pass first guy and and gets everybody else going uh, obviously his numbers 13 points 13 rebounds six assists three steals I mean he was he was tremendous and then you know I thought that that's probably the most efficient game that Trey has played for us and I think it was the same thing he was he was patient and and took good shots when they were there he attacked the rim um, I know Gabe's going to give him a hard time about not getting him that that other assist on the on the lob there um, and uh, but but I just thought he had he, he had such a good uh, he had such good balance as to when to attack and, and, and when to just keep the thing moving as as did everybody today and you know, when we do that we're really efficient as a, as a team and I think it just stems from the mindset that these guys had today. And uh, you have North Carolina A and T now. It looks like uh, Friday at two to start the uh, CAA tournament. Yeah, that was. Uh, I just learned that coming up here. Um, that's obviously a team we played once this year. Lost at their place in a in a close game, and um, you know we'll, we'll we'll take a couple of days, give our guys a little break here, and then we'll start to turn our attention to the tournament and um, just figuring out what we can do starting next week to to get ourselves up and, and playing our best basketball uh, at the time you got to be playing it. Gabe, um, obviously, season hasn't quite gone how we kind of anticipated it going. March is a new season. Some would say it's the best time uh, in college basketball. You know, how important is it for you guys to kind of start this momentum going into the tournament? And how have you guys kind of maybe not necessarily changed your focus, but looked at it as like this is an entirely new season? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> like like you said, March is a new season. That was definitely an emphasis coming into today um, and the meeting we had yesterday. And so just thinking about it as, you know, we have the glass half full instead of half empty. We have, you know, a new season ahead of us that we can really, you know, turn this around and make a real run at this. So everybody's zero to zero now going into the tournament. And, uh, you know, it's not the best team. Coach always says it's the team that plays the best. So. Cool. Good. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks.